Listen, I love VR. VR is the future. But Prince of Persia in VR. Like, what the actual hell? Do you realize how many years people have been asking for a new Prince of Persia? I've been asking for a new Prince of Persia since Forgotten Sands. I've wanted another game. So many people have been wanting another game. And you give us a co-op VR Prince of Persia. Who comes up with these ideas? Who is the dude at Ubisoft or the group at Ubisoft who's coming up with this crap? I don't get it. VR is not suited, at the minute anyway, to platformers that include wall running and melee combat. How is that gonna even work? We're not that far along in VR technology at the minute where that's even gonna be a good translation of gameplay mechanics. And Prince of Persia is primarily a platformer with puzzle elements and stuff like that. How are you gonna bring that over? into VR and make it work in co-op. Unless it's just a puzzle game, you know, minus the platforming and stuff. I don't get Ubisoft's direction at the minute, but some of their stuff they're doing really well, like Watch Dogs and Far Cry and all that. And the, some of the other stuff like this, it is just, I can't see how this made sense. I can't see how this is anything more than a gimmick. I feel like they've gotten so many requests from people wanting a new Prince of Persia that they were just like, all right, we wanted to work on VR anyway, see what we can do with that. Uh, so much make a game, make it, make it Prince of Persia, whatever, who cares? It's good or bad. It doesn't matter. It's just a, it's a little gimmick game. Who cares? We're not going to support it two years from now. So what does it matter? Cause that's kind of what it, what it is. That's kind of what this is. It's just the random game just to shut up the Prince of Persia fans and also enable them to work on VR and try out different things. They had that other game. What was it? Um, Space Junkies, which was a lot of fun, by the way. If you haven't played Space Junkies in VR, that's a really fun game. But like Prince of Persia in VR, like I don't want to keep bashing on Ubisoft. I really think they're doing really good stuff with a lot of their games. I think Watch Dogs Legion look really cool. I think that Far Cry 6 looks really cool. I think that what they're doing currently with the Division and with, well, other than the balancing, but what they're doing generally with the Division and what they've been doing with Rainbow Six has just been really great. And the last few Splinter Cells have been really incredible. But what is happening here? And I, th I think I know, actually. You know what? I think I know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments. But I think what is going on is Ubisoft is, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, the biggest game company at the minute. And there are so many different departments and so many different studios working at such a disconnect from one another that every single department is vastly different in terms of quality and in terms of the ideas they come up with from another. So when we had Ubisoft Montreal and Quebec that have, that have made you know the, the more kind of prominent games, we now have all these other Ubisoft studios or at least these different departments in those same studios that are just working in a completely different mindset with a completely different philosophy of game design and it is so incoherent maybe it'll be really good half-life alex was kind of a little bit iffy at the beginning and then turned out great but that's a shooter game without any platforming elements but you never know it might turn out pretty good i just don't really understand why well, whatever, man. If you like this video, if you want to keep up with the channel and stuff like that, hit a subscribe and stick around. Join the family. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts on the Prince of Persia, Daggers of Time or whatever. By the way, that little fist bump at the end of that trailer is such a cringy moment. But anyway, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on this channel. I do all sorts of gaming crap. So yeah, I'll see you around.